Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. The Alpaca Switches were first released in December of 2019, and was one of the first iterations of the JWK Linears. They quickly became one of the most popular linear switches, alongside the Gatoron Black Inks and the Novelty Creams. However, in November of 2020, a US-based switch company called Prime Keyboards released the Alpaca V2s, touting new molds for the top housing, bottom housing, and the stem also marketing that they are using more factory loop. I picked up the Alpaca V2s during the latest restock on Daily Clack, and I'll be looking at whether these switches are really all they're hyped up to be. These switches come with an opaque grey bottom and top housing with a rose pink stem based on the SA Bliss keycap set by Minterly. These switches come in a 5 pin configuration, so if you have a 3 pin keyboard like the GMMK, you'll need to clip the extra 2 pins off using a nail clipper, scissors, or wire cutters for example. The top housing is made of a polycarbonate, the bottom housing is nylon, and the stem is made up of polyoxymethylene, better known as POM. These switches have a 62 gram gold plated spring with an estimated actuation force of 50 to 55 grams. These switches don't have a lot of stem wobble, which means that the housings are pretty tight out of the box. These switches aren't SMD RGB compatible, which means that they don't feature a cutter on the north end of the switch in order to let the RGB pass through. These switches come factory loop on the stem rails and on the bottom housing, but as far as I can tell, these switches haven't had any factory loop on the springs. These switches are super smooth stock, and are smoother than my Gatoron yellows, which are looped Crytox 205 grade 0. The sound is on the clackier side, which some people may prefer. There isn't any spring ping, but there is the slightest amount of spring noise when typing, which is noticeable if you're listening for it, but very hard to notice in everyday use. Out of curiosity, I decided to lube these switches with Crytox 205 grade 0 and bag lube the springs with 205 grade 0 as well, since my 105 hasn't come in. Here's how the Alpaca V2 sound, lubed and unlubed, and there will be a full sound test at the end of the video if you're interested. These switches sound much better lubed, that spring noise I mentioned before is now completely gone and they are deeper and richer in sound, but still pretty clacky. Honestly, lubed versus unlubed is pretty hard to tell the difference in terms of smoothness. These switches don't change very much in terms of smoothness and you'll be lucky to guess which one is which. If you're interested in these switches, I'll leave a link to them in the description if you're interested in trying them out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It supports me and helps me sleep at night thinking about my empty wallet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.